And in the 3D world, you may have heard of something called a clay render. Now, a clay render is when you have your just normal scene, but every single object in the scene is rendered with one main material, and that's usually just kind of a white material with nothing but shadows, and then you can kind of differentiate the different objects and their geometry. So I've seen a couple tutorials online that show you how to do this in cycles, but I've never actually seen one that shows this in Eevee. So um, today I'm going to show you both techniques. So just to start, um, you can see I have this pretty just generic test scene open, and I'm going to add in a new cube. Um, this is just for the purposes of creating the material. So I'm going to go over to the shading tab and center up on this cube and add in a new material called clay. This can be called anything, but it's just for future reference because it makes it a lot easier if you're organized with your textures. So um, this already has a pretty good look to it. Um, you can see how it's kind of that clay look, but I'm just going to increase the roughness here and add in an ambient occlusion node. So I'm going to plug that into the base color and we don't need so many samples, so I'm just going to reduce that to like 7 or something. Um, and finally, I'm going to add in a math node. So you can see how um, the shadows on the bottom there are really quite harsh. Um, so if I go ahead and multiply this and clamp it um, and multiply it by something like 2 or something, um, you can just see how it takes those shadows and kind of brings them out, but then this multiply value makes it so it's just not too harsh. So we can go ahead and delete this cube now that that material is created. And we're going to want to go over to the View Layer Properties section right here. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you see something called Material Override. And if we click on that, you can select the clay object, and you can see that right there is our clay render. So everything is kind of given that one material that we created over on that cube. So now if we render this image out, Okay, a minute of rendering and denoising later, and here we are, and here is our final image. So now that we've learned how to do that in the Cycles Render Engine, um, I'm going to touch upon the part of the tutorial that most people on the internet actually haven't talked about, um, and that is how to do a clay render in Eevee. So you can see if we go over here and change the render engine from Cycles to Eevee, the clay render totally goes away. Um, going back into the layer properties here, um, the material override just isn't there. And I don't know why they haven't added it, but um, as of now, I'm working in Blender 3.1, the option just is not there. So we're actually going to have to use like a little um, method that isn't technically accurate, but it's the closest you're going to be able to get if you want to do a clay rendering EV. So you're going to want to go up here and go to the viewport shading option. And you can see that already gets us halfway there. Um, and we're going to click on this down arrow and click on shadow. So although this isn't technically responding to the lighting setup I have in here that I set up for the cycles render, um, it does give us semi-accurate shadows um, based on where objects are interacting and all that stuff. And that's going to be based off of sorry this um, lighting setup that we have set up here. So you can choose between studio light or... Um, this setup or that setup, and you just have a few different options. So it just comes down to whichever one you think looks best. And then to actually render this out, we're going to turn off these different overlays and we're going to go up to view and viewport render image. So you can see here that gives us the a very similar looking clay render um, just over here in the EV render engine. So up on the screen here, you can see the two different renders we made. I hope this helps someone out and thank you for watching.